Hey guys, welcome to Rotor Right. I wanted to take a minute to reintroduce you to the Rotor Riot pilots. This year's been crazy for us. We've gone through a ton of changes, we've evolved, and we have grown. And I couldn't be more proud of the seven pilots that make up the Rotor Riot team. Each of us has a unique way that we fly and different things that we most enjoy about this sport and lifestyle and different way that we approach this stuff. But when we get together, we do awesome stuff. Let's meet the pilots. What's up guys, it's your boy Vortex. So I'm pretty much known for being the Bando King because back in Detroit, we had boundless, plentiful, abandoned buildings and that's that was kind of my playground where I like to play. If you're gonna fly abandoned buildings, you gotta fly frames that are super durable, they're gonna take the bashing, so that's typically what I go for. I go for something that I'm gonna be able to smash it a bunch of times and it's just gonna keep going. So my day job and where I spend most of the time is working on things for the store. Things like putting listings up on the store, managing the inventory, and now that we're running our own operation here in the warehouse, there's a lot of upkeep and a lot of physical things that need to be done in the warehouse. So on a typical day, if you pop by headquarters, I'm probably out here working. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. And what I do is help people get over the hump of getting into the great hobby of FPV. The more people that we can help educate, the, the more the hobby can grow and the more people that can be educated and it can continue to grow. How many videos have I made? 1,600 to 2,000 videos on my YouTube channel. Most of them focused on getting people into FPV or helping them make smarter buying decisions by reviewing products. My favorite part of flying is being able to express myself through motion. There are so many different ways that people express themselves through motion. Dance, skateboarding, you name it. And all of them require a certain level of athleticism that let's face it, I just don't have. I think one of the greatest parts of FPV is the ability of anybody, almost regardless of their physical abilities, to be able to enjoy the sense of motion, of speed, and interacting with the environment in a creative way. I'm Zoe FPV and some of you know me as the queen of 3D. 3D is the ability to have the drone fly in any direction orientation you want, unlocking the abilities of the pilot and allowing you to do anything that you can imagine. It's one of those extremely hard skills to master and it takes a top level pilot to really bring out the best in what you can do with 3D. And that's why I love doing it. That's what pushes me to continue flying is by having the ability to do anything it allows me to do everything. One of the things I've been most passionate about is making drone racing interesting. And to make drone racing that next generation spectator sport, you have to make the drones bigger so you can actually see them around the track. That's why I've always been pushing for giant drones to become a thing. That's why I helped found X-Class Drone Racing and why I'm such a believer in drone sports. It's not just the thing that's fun to do, it's a thing that encourages more engineers to get out into the world. It's a thing that encourages the average person to become a mad scientist and push the limits of their knowledge and push the limits of physics while they do it. And that's really why I love drones. It's a whole new frontier of possibilities that we're just beginning to get a grasp of. Hey guys, it's Jamie, Little Stellar Fox. A big reason why I fly is because when I'm up there, I'm not down here. I turn on my music, I totally zone out, and I'm just dancing with the trees and that's it. Really what makes a good pilot is the passion to push forward. The people that are growing and doing new things and are pushing themselves, those are good pilots. I don't really focus on tricks. I do a lot of focus on flow and making my lines nice and soft and gooey. I really enjoy being able to flow and just move fluidly. A huge focus that I have is getting more females into the hobby. Girls wanna see other girls flying. And I love all the guys, but it's super great to have a female that you can look up to and be like, that could be me. Hey guys, Corey Tapp, AKA Cricket FPV. I am shooting to be the best in freestyle FPV. So for me, flying FPV and the new tricks and everything that I've been doing has just been about innovation and just 
doing things that nobody else is doing. And not to say that there's anything wrong with what everybody else is doing, but me personally, I just want to be different. I want my flying to be something unique and something that you don't see any place else in FPV. My biggest influences in FPV would have to be anybody that really is pushing the envelope and uh, innovating FPV and just doing new things, not the same old things that everybody's been doing. I want the people that push, push, push. This isn't fun if you're not pushing to be the best. I'm on their coattails. Just keep moving, because if not, you stop. I'm coming backwards all day, every day. If you're not pushing, I'm pushing 10 times harder. Use that one. <laughs> I'm the best racer in the game. Ready to fly any quad, any time, any track, any location, doesn't matter to me. I'm ready to go. Being on DRL is really awesome. We get to race in locations all across the world against the best competition. We're racing drones over 100 miles an hour. It's a really good demonstration of the talent that a pi personal pilot can have on the sticks and what they're able to do. In my flying style, I like to fly very, very smooth. I don't like any jerkiness. I like to get a nice smooth line. I love that flow. I, I love flying. For me, part of the reason that I'm so determined, I'm so cocky or what people people say are arrogant is because for me trying to get better in FPV is not just so I can be the best it's the challenge of being the best like that's what excites me the most is the challenge in FPV whether it's being the smoothest pilot out there with the best flow or being the fastest racing pilot the challenge to get there it's it's I would be really upset at myself if I made it to the very top I just love that challenge I love that drive like let's go fly 150 batteries today let's go do it and that's why I'm so confident in my flying I push myself I challenge myself but I just love flying you you get very immersed when you're flying these drones you forget that you're sitting or standing there on the ground and you feel like you're actually in it. you're free you can do whatever you want uh, and I love it so much and that's it helps drive me to just push harder and push harder to be the best. And finally, I go by Le Drib and I am all about the flow. Whether it's trees or an abandoned building or a parking lot, I'll fly it. I'll fly anywhere and I want to find long, continuous lines that are just fluid and keep you on the edge of your seat. I love FPV because to me, it is the merger of art and science. You have to take all of these technical skills where you have to build this machine and, and tune it and configure it and then actually practice the physical skill of flying it and get good at flying it and then you take the footage from those flights and you have to think about motion and colors and music and turn it into art. At the end of the day, you're looking at screens and moving sticks with your fingers, but it's not like playing a video game. You're not just in your living room. You're going out into the world. You're looking for unique spots. You're trying to fly them in ways that no one's ever seen. You're doing something really special. The Rotor Riot pilot team is made up of not only some of the best freestyle pilots, but some of the best people in the FPV community. We want to share this hobby with as many people as we can. We love flying and we want you to love it too. The Rotor Riot team is stronger than ever and we are on a mission to FPV everything and share it with the world. Hit the subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss a single episode and we hope to see you here next time on Rotor Riot. I'm the grandpa of Rotor Riot. I could pretty much, I, I think I could be Vanover's dad. Mathematically, I could be Vanover's dad. Ha, ha, ha.